I welcome you to this traditional silent movie event on behalf of the Stowe Lions Club. The club sponsors the, uh, this event this year with uh, financial support from the Stowe Cultural Council, a new one for us. Stowe Lion Lou Halprin up there in the balcony is the project leader. Lou started this several years ago and this event has become an important part of the Spring Fest celebration. Thank you everybody for coming out this evening to watch this truly wonderful, magical film. It's called Peter Pan. It was made in 1924. And usually, um, Lou is right, I start off the program with maybe a ragtime piece, but um, I did a little research. I didn't get away from my office. I just uh, Googled um, the most popular tunes of 1924, so I thought I'd play a couple of snippets of some of the tunes that were popular back then. <laughs> And while there, they have many adventures. But Captain Hook, Peter's rival, tries to do Peter in by uh, different devious means. However, Peter and the children manage to outsmart Captain Hook, and he walks the plank to his watery grave. That's the plot. Now, some of the cast members are Betty Bronson. She played the role of Peter Pan. Ernest Torrance, I've seen him in a lot of silent films. He plays the role of Captain Hook. He did a good job, too. Mary Bryan as Wendy Darling, one of the children. Virginia Brown Fair as Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell, you get to see Tinkerbell. And George Ali as Nana and the dog, as, as the uh, dog and crocodile and Esther Ralston as Mr. Darling and Cyril Chadwick as Mr. Darling. Now James Barry, he selected Betty Bronson for the role of Peter Pan. Now he also wrote additional scenes for the film, but Herbert Brennan, who was the director and the producer of the movie, um, stuck largely to the stage play. And by the way, even though the story takes place in London originally, Notice the flag that is hoisted by Peter Pan when Captain Hook is subdued. It's a flag a little bit closer to home here, which doesn't make sense. Now, the reception of the film. The film was celebrated at the time for its innovative use of special effects, mainly to show Tinkerbell and 
also the dog's costume and the children flying around. In 2000, the film was deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant by the United States Library of Congress, and it was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. Now, we're going to get to the meat of this, to all of you young people and young people at heart, and I hope that includes everybody here. My request is this. Just before the intermission, Peter Pan will ask you all to do something very important. Tinkerbell has just drunk poison that was left for Peter Pan by Captain Hook and her bright light is fading fast. She is one of the few remaining fairies alive because people nowadays don't believe in fairies. And if she dies, who will grant your wishes? That's why when Peter asks you to believe in fairies, everyone must say that they believe in order to save the fairies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to present for you this 1925 screen version of Peter Pan.
Thank you.